While the Wild Rose Party was busy releasing their findings on equalization fairness and gearing up for their annual AGM, the NDP were playing a little game that I like to call everyone that I don't like is Donald Trump. And they're using your money, taxpayer money, to do it. I can't even believe I have to report on this or that they spent the time and energy doing this. But according to this tweet that was released by the Alberta NDP account, the Wild Rose are apparently adopting their policies out of what the NDP called the Trump playbook. Except that the policies they highlight aren't even closely related to Donald Trump's policies or the Wild Rose for that matter. Here they suggest that the Wild Rose party wants to force teachers to out LGBT kids. I honestly laughed out loud at this because all you have to do is look in the policy book on the page number that the NDP supply to see that what the members of the party were proposing is that parents just simply be included in all issues relating to their children. This particular policy actually got voted down because there's already similar policy that strongly supports parental rights. And then of course there's this tweet about Wild Rose members wanting to increase GHG emissions. Again, if you read the actual policy, it favors using new technology proven to be cost efficient in order to replace the carbon tax, which the NDP themselves aren't even sure what good a tax will do in fighting pollution. In fact, the NDP are giving incentives to companies that use carbon capture to enhance production in their oil and gas wells. So then, are the NDP taking policy out of the Wild Rose and Trump playbook? And those are just a couple of examples. You know what I think? I think that the NDP would be better for checking out Donald Trump's economic policies. The ones like reducing taxes on everyone, including corporations, in order to bring investments and a larger tax base back to the province. The other ironic thing about this whole fiasco is that I think the NDP would actually agree with Trump's policy to reduce the cost of childcare by allowing families to deduct those expenses from their taxes. In all reality, Trump's actual policies are pretty moderate once you peel back the layers. Not only this, but remember the NDP AGM? Does Leap Manifesto ring a bell? The NDP have no room to criticize another party's AGM. At their own event, the manifesto was debated, which proposed a radical shift to the left and kneecapping the oil and gas industry. The only things the NDP's little game shows is that they can't research and interpret policy they aren't working on important issues and instead engage in elementary school style attacks on the opposition while wasting taxpayer money. They actually thought this out. They took the time to make graphics and everything and they're in full campaign mode. Just recently, Rachel Notley made the state of the province address to attack the Wild Rose Party at every turn. In fact, she can't fight the urge to take digs at the Wild Rose at every chance and now there's this. You can't help but think that the NDP know they're out come next election. In fact, at this rate, I'd be surprised if even Rachel Notley hung on to her seat. For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks for watching. Have you had a chance to sign our petition at StopTheCarbonTax.com? Sign now to send a message to all of our MPs to vote Justin Trudeau's carbon tax down.